Welcome to No Control RC. Now, as you can see, the bench is empty today. And why is that? Well, what I have is too big. And if it was sitting here, I'm not tall enough to actually go over it, I don't think. It would kind of block me out completely. So what is it? Well, let's take a look. Well, here it is, guys. And I told you it was on sale in one of our videos we did. And I hemmed and hawed and said, well, I really don't need one. Um, I know it's been out for a couple of years. But the more I thought about it, the more I wanted one. So I moved a few trucks out that I haven't used in a while, and I got this on order. I used the coupon discount code, so I actually saved another $50 on top of buying this on the sale. So I couldn't resist. Let's get this thing out of the box. I'm super excited to see it. I can't wait to drive this thing. There she is, guys. This thing is massive, and it is gorgeous, to be honest with you. In person, it's got the plastic on there, not overkill like the Traxxas, but just enough to keep it from getting all scuffed up and shipping. Um, I don't know if you can appreciate the size of this thing at the moment, but we'll do some comparisons in a minute. With it, you do get... The Spectrum DX3 controller. It's a fine controller. No issues with that. Um, got a booklet of some stuff. We'll touch on that in a minute. But let's get into the meat of this truck. Now, this is a one-piece body compared to the old trucks, which were multiple piece. But there is probably a dozen screws or maybe even more that you got to pull out to actually get this off. Um... This thing is insane. All right, guys, let's take a quick lap around this truck. Check out some of the features we have here. Now, this is a rubber plastic guard here on the front, and that is actually, that is right on there. That's not a decal. That's actually part of the rubber. Um, that'll hold up really well over time, I bet. Now, we have a the first of the three light bars right here. Second one's up here. And the third one's back here. You see some scale detail here. With the reservoirs for the shocks and coolers and fire extinguishers. And they actually say Losi on them. Got a fake radiator here. Got a jack. It says Losi on it. You gotta love the attention to detail here. Two spare tires. They are real tires for this rig, so you can use these. And these are the same. BF Goodrich TA mud terrains that are on the truck itself. They are full real beadlock and they have a 17 millimeter hex that holds them on when you get into trucks of this power and size. Kind of the standard. Now, this is the licensed Brenthal truck. As you can see, it's got the decals everywhere. They are lifting in a few spots here, so we'll actually hit them with the heat gun, press them down. I'll do it once. I won't do it again if it doesn't stay. But I'll give it its best shot because there is a lot of decals on this truck, guys. And body's pretty sharp looking, so we'll see if we can keep it looking as nice as it does right now. See there's faux drivers in here. You can see the speed control there with the fan. Um, we will tear this body off and take a closer look at what's going on underneath. So let's let's get to it. All right, guys, body's off. It's 20 screws to get it off. I had slight flashbacks in my Baja Ray 110 scale, and I remember that thing sucked to work on. So hopefully this isn't a whole lot of the same, although I didn't really have many problems with that truck. It's just when you, even just to clean it, it was like a three-hour process. Um, so as you see here, what this nice Brenthal rubber strip is mounted to is a nice heavy-duty front bumper. Um, it's got a deflector here. I'm assuming that's going to take a lot of stuff off hitting the shocks and going into the into the chassis of the truck because you got these mud guards here to help try to keep everything clean. You do have the plug for your front light bar because that one is mounted into the body. The other two are on the roll cage here and here. Um, see these massive king shocks. These are all aluminum. They're threaded. It 
feel really great quality. They got nice bump stops on the bottom, nice and smooth. Don't foresee an issue with those at all. You see these drives here, they do have steel outers to take the 8S power. Goes to a nice A arm set. The bottom's got a little bit of flex. Top's got a lot more flex, which will help with breakage. They do mount with this nice U shaped right there, the pin. The bottom is a standard pin that goes in. Does have a massive sway bar down here, which has a color on it, so I'm guessing it's fully tunable. This overall so far is looking like a great truck. It's so big, it's kind of hard to film. You see there, this is the bottom of the chassis. And there's the rear end. So, you see these ginormous long trailing arms here, which have four adjustable holes, so you can actually move the shocks in and out and tune them the way you want it. The shocks in the rear are much longer than the shocks in the front, but they do have a longer thread here, so you can tune and adjust the way you need to to get this thing to handle. Look at the size of that motor. We might have to take the cage off so you guys can fully appreciate the inner workings of this. Um, but I wanted to show you one thing before I took the cage off and showed you the inside of the chassis. And this is a notorious problem for these trucks. It's right here. See that flex? I do have a kit on the way to brace that up already because I knew it was an issue when I bought this truck. That this truck's two years old. There's all kinds of uh, info out there on it. So I knew ahead of time. I got it ordered. We'll do that upgrade right off. Now, let's get this cage off and show you the inner workings. All right, guys. And here you can see the cage is off. And as you can see, this is all part of the cage right here. So the whole back of the chassis is open which is what leads to that weakness problem right there. We'll stiffen that up. See the lights are all attached here with the guys. Um, what I'll say is you could take the whole cage and body off fairly easy if you could get to two screws, which are right in here, and you'd have to go through that part of the body. So if you want to drill a small hole in there, large enough to get a screw head in, you can probably set it up so you can pull the whole body cage off all in one shot consistently all the time. Because other than that, it's two screws on the bottom on each side, one in the front, and the one back there. It's, it's fairly straightforward. Now, as you can see, for the inner workings here, guys, look at the size of that battery box. You're going to need it because you can run two 3S or two 4S batteries in this. And, you know, that takes up a lot of space. That's no joke. Now we got this upside down. I showed you the top of the battery tray. Here's the bottom. Here's how you actually put the batteries in. Pretty simple. You pull that out. You can see that drop. Just like that. Nice and easy. And you can see that there's a hole there. You plug your two batteries in right there. And you're off and running. Seems like a fairly good design. Um, it's a lot better than the design on the Baja Ray 110 scale ones, which actually slid into the backside, and that was a pain. Underneath here is your motor. We'll take that plate off and give you a look. There's the bottom of the motor. Here's all the gears in it. You see they're all metal. They're well greased. It's, uh, they're huge. When you take the motor plate off, this, you only got to take these three off. These bolts, because the other ones actually go to a brace that holds your motor in place because the sheer weight of this thing coming down all the time, even though it's on an aluminum motor mount right here, it's still a lot of wear and tear on that. So that extra that extra brace right there helps a lot. Um, you can see this is how you get to a lot of the things if you need to work on it. They're all flush mount, nice and smooth. There's not a lot to get caught on. Um, here is... Some of the bolts you take out to get the roll cage off. But before I flip this back over, I want to show you the beef and size of these steering arms right here. Now that is what you expect out of a proper 8S Baja truck. You see the bottom of this. They're very smooth. There's not a lot of things for rocks to catch on. 
Um, same back here. Nothing for rocks to really grab, except for maybe right here. And if you're going like that, it'll probably bounce right over it. Now, the scale of this thing, guys, I'm not kidding, is it's hard to explain. I mean, if you take my hand into perspective, look at the size of the shock and that. See, your power button. It leads to your 160 amp ESC, which is 8S capable. Um, that is connected to what you'll see, the Spectrum receiver there. That is the AVC style receiver. So it has stability control that you can turn up and down, guys. That's the SR6100AT. Um, if you need some, some assistance driving this, you can turn that up and down, and it'll definitely help. Now you see the, there's where all the gears are we were just looking at. There's the motor can. See these massive wires that go to the ESC. This thing should handle heat well. It's a Spectrum S905 steering servo. It does go down to ser servo saver, which is connected to a bell crank setup. Overall, guys, this thing is impressive, and I just want to get some batteries in it and see what I can actually do. I almost forgot to mention they got a sway bar on the rear as well. It doesn't look to be too adjustable, if any. It does have a green thing on it, so I'm sure there's different rates you can buy. Um, but hey, I'm going to get this thing back together. We're going to get it on its wheels. I'm going to show you the size comparison between this, the Mojave, and the Centon, and then we'll get this thing out for a rip. So here's the size comparison, guys, from over top. You clearly see the massive difference. Um, and it goes... The Centon over here on the left is 3S, the Mojave in the middle is 6S, and the Super Baja Ray 2.0 on the right is the 8S. And you can see the massive size difference from the 1 10th to the 1 7th to the 1 6th. It's crazy. Now it's time. We'll get a battery in that. Actually, two batteries in that. And we will get some run footage.
guys, I've driven a lot of vehicles in my time. This is a top five for sure. Fun factor is a 10. This thing is very capable. Handles the jumps well. Handles the rocks well. Terrain. I will say, when you purchase a vehicle of this size, make sure you have a place to run it. Because my yard's pretty big and it feels small with this on it. Took it up to my dirt road. Dirt road feels small with it on it. You would really need like an open sand pit to really get a hold of this thing. And uh, I'm going to schedule one of those here pretty, as soon as I can. Uh, we did hit some big jumps with it. I didn't go all the way flat out and see how far we can jump it yet because I do want to brace up the back of this before it takes any more abuse. Um, same thing with trying to hit a backflip. I have not really attempted that yet, but as soon as that thing's braced up, I'll be trying to accomplish one of those, you know, for sure. Um, this vehicle's fun. It's not overly expensive. Well, it can be, but get it on when things are on sale. Um, I'm sure they'll hit the sale thing again. This thing is awesome. I have no regrets in buying this thing at all. I'm super glad I did it. Um, but the biggest regret I'm going to have is I'm going to have to shuffle my shelves around here and try to make room for it. But that's part of the RC game, right, guys? Um, you saw how well it handled. It's fast. It's a beast. This thing's awesome. I really do. I, I'm really glad I bought it. And I'm going to have to put it head-to-head -head against the Mojave with Brandon driving. He'll probably break my Mojave, though. Um, what do you think, guys? Get the thing braced up back here and see how far we can launch this thing off the maximum car and ramp? I think that sounds like a plan to me. So, like always, thanks for watching. Hit that like and subscribe button. It really helps. We're growing fast as a channel. It's all because of you guys. We appreciate it. So, have a good day.